This is Morning Prayers at St. Peter's, Ipswich, brought to you online, a place where we study God's Word together and where we join our hearts and our voices before the throne of God, praying for the needs of our world, our church and ourselves. Welcome this morning. Good morning. And welcome to Morning Prayers from St. Peter's Ipsley this Friday morning. My name is Peter McLaren and I'm a licensed lay minister or reader in this parish. So, O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall declare your praise. Now, I'm afraid to say that earlier this week, I made a mistake in my diary and spoke on the passage set for Friday this week on Monday. Oh, dear. So today we're going to use the reading set for Saturday, but think about them today. However, today is also a day of memorial for the martyrs of Uganda, the 22 young men, often called Mackay's boys, who died in the 1880s. And Mackay was uh, involved in early Christian ministry in Uganda as a missionary engineer in the 1880s and died out there in 1890, aged 40. Today, we're going to start our thoughts by using a very old and ancient hymn of praise called the Te Deum Laudamus, which is the Latin for we praise you, O God. It occurs in morning prayer in the old prayer book. Usually, when I read from the Book of Common Prayer, I try and modernise the language appropriately. But for this song of praise, I cannot do it without destroying the flow of the words. So I'm using the original 1662 version. <clears throat> and perhaps, as you hear it, you may be able to work out why I used it today. The Te Deum. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, Thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. Thou hast overcome the sharpness of death. Then thou didst open the kingdom to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. And we believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee. Help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. 
govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Now today we're going to use the psalm set for Saturday. And we're going to use both of the psalms, Psalm 42 and Psalm 43, because they are very closely linked. In that, there's a common refrain that occurs twice in Psalm 42 and then in Psalm 43. So Psalm 42, as the deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all the day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would go with the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of praise, a multitude-keeping festival. And here's the refrain. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. My soul is cast down within me, therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and from Hermon and from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the roar of your waterfalls. All your breakers and your waves have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with a deadly wound in my bones, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me all day long, where is your God? And here's the refrain again. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. And Psalm 43, vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From the deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. And the refrain again. 
Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Now the Psalms have been the church's songbook for centuries. I wonder how many of you remember songs or Christian hymns written and based on these Psalms, especially on Psalm 42. And as a young man in Scotland, we used to sing Psalm 42 from the Scottish Psalter. As pants the heart for cooling streams, when heated by the chase, so longs my soul, O God, for thee, and thy refreshing grace. Nowadays, we would sing that equally great rendition, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Now, there's two things I note from this. The gift of music and singing, together with the gift of poetic composition, is a great gift of God. Let us continue to use it in our worship and to give thanks to God for those who lead our ministry of music today. There's also the point that many people of many different generations have used these words from the Psalms in their worship. And while preparing this order of service, I listened to recorded versions of both of the hymns based on this psalm. And I thought I'd sing them to you. But after a bit of forethought, I thought that perhaps would not be profitable. I think the old version was sung to a tune called Martyrdom, but I'm pushing my memory over 60 years here, and I could be in error. And I have to admit that as I get older, the fact that the hymns of my youth are no longer used in worship is a sadness to me. And sometimes I feel like the psalmist in verse 5. My soul is cast down. But Psalm 42 is especially important for me because it starts with those verses about the deer panting for water. My father was born in the Inner Hebrides island of Jura, and the name Jura means deer island, and there are thousands of wild deer there. More than 20 years ago, we were on holiday in that island, and Psalm 42 was sung. I can't remember now which version. It so moved me then that I made a promise before God that whenever I heard this psalm sung, I would stop and pray for God's work in Jura. So, if we have this hymn in church, and you notice I'm not singing, you'll now know why. And for you, is there a special piece of Christian music that especially speaks to you? Whenever you hear that music, give thanks to God and pray for the people or event that links it in your memory. Now, in this psalm, there's a question posed by the author, who is reputed to be a member of the ancient Jewish music group. It was called 
<clears throat> the sons of Korah. And here is the question. And it comes in the refrain. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? And the psalmist asks it three times in Psalm 42, verses 5 and 11, and in the last verse of Psalm 43. And for many today, perhaps even you, that could be a true statement too. Let's think of some of the possible reasons. You see, the writer had been unable to come to God and worship because they were unable to get to the temple as they would like to have done. And they exp the writer expresses this in verse 2. When shall I come and appear before God? And I would go with the throng and lead them in possession to the house of God. I would come with glad shouts and songs of praise. But the writer couldn't. Now, a few weeks ago, I was at a communion service led by Bishop Martin of our diocese. And he said that because all COVID restrictions were lifted, we could go back to communion at the communion rail, taking both bread and the cup as we used to about two and a half years ago. It was a tremendous occasion. One member of the group I was at was coming back from the communion rail in tears and suddenly burst out with, Hallelujah! Whether this person realised it or not, they were following the second half of the refrain of these psalms. Hope in God, for I shall again praise him. My salvation and my God. Now, another reason the writer was cast down was because of, there was religious discrimination or even persecution. For the writer feels forgotten by God. Uh, I say to God, my rock. Why have you forgotten me when I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? When things are going wrong for you and others say, hmm, I thought you were a Christian and God would protect you from these things. Doesn't it get into your very bones as with a deadly wound in my bones? My adversaries taunt me. Yes, that's how it felt for the psalmist. And what should be our prayer in these situations? Now, the sons of Korah have two wise thoughts for us to pray. And this is what they say. Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. We need to pray for God's light into the darkness we are in, because we are cast down, and practically to have a good sing-song of Christian music, or, as the psalmist puts it in Psalm 43 at the end of verse 4, how I would go with the throng and lead them in procession with glad shouts and songs of praise. Yes, Christian hymns are good for the soul. And secondly, we need God's word, the truth, to fill our minds. 
I think of the light as the emotional side of our response to God's presence, expressing ourselves in praise. And I think of God's truth as the intellectual grasping of God's truth in our minds, allowing us to confront those who are against us. Yes, the oppression of the enemy, the psalmist says. So may God's light be upon you this Jubilee weekend and God's truth shine out from you to all you will be meeting. Amen. And now we'll have a time of silence when we remember before God that special place or special time or special person that Christian music reminds us of. So, for the gift of music, we praise you, O Lord. For the people who helped us on that special occasion that the music reminds us of, we commend them to you, O Lord. And for that holy place, where we met you in song. Continue to meet people there, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. And now I'm going to use a Platinum Jubilee prayer written and approved by the Anglican Church in Scotland the Scottish Episcopal Church. Almighty and eternal God, you uphold and govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, and by your grace alone, kings and queens do reign. We thank you for all the blessings which you have bestowed upon us throughout the reign of our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, whom you have set over us these threescore years and ten. We thank you for the wisdom of her guidance and her love of peace, for the care and devotion with which she has served her people, for the example of her gracious life. As we rejoice before you with thankful hearts, we pray that we may ever be united in love and service to one another as people call to live according to your will for the good of all the world and the glory of your great name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a prayer for all, we will meet this Jubilee weekend. We thank you, O oh God, for the celebrations we're having this weekend. We thank you for all those who work are so hard to make open church possible at St Peter's Ipsley. Give them a great blessing, we pray. We pray too for all from the local community who may enter the church at this time and may they find a godly welcome and in entering find not only memories of the past but also thoughts of faith to encourage them in the future. And we pray too for those who may be housebound this weekend due to illness or family difficulty. Lord, may your healing love and presence be with them wherever they are. And may we keep we keep them in our love and prayers 
and communicate with them at this time. In Jesus' name, Amen. And as next weekend is Pentecost, we will now use the special prayer or collect for last Sunday, the Sunday after Ascension. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, send, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now, so Almighty Father, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governor to do always what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so may you be greatly blessed this Platinum Jubilee weekend, and we look forward to meeting again, either in church again on Sunday, or in online morning prayer again next week. So, goodbye and God bless. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield, to you. Spirit yield You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you You're my friend and you are my brother even though are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone, may my spirit yield. You desire and I long to worship you.
can satisfy You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye You alone are my strength, my shield To you alone may my spirit yield Desire and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you.